Welcome to Tenkata Geotube 101, Session 2, Marine Structures. Now that you have already learned what Geotube containers do in Session 1 of Geotube 101, we are ready to learn about the first of two principal applications, marine structures. Contrary to popular belief, when we talk about marine structures, we are not referring to the barracks at Paris Island. We are talking about structures along the shoreline or submerged as breakwaters in the surf to protect beaches against erosion. A geotube marine structure is filled with a slurry mixture of water and sand. The sand naturally settles out and the water bleeds through the pores, leaving a tube filled with sand. Now, first question. Geotube containers offer several advantages over conventional marine structures, such as rock riprap and sheet piling by A, being classified as soft armor, B, becoming virtually invisible when buried within a sand dune, C, possibly utilizing on-site sand for filling, D, all of the above. The answer is D, all of the above. Next question, true or false? Unlike rock riprap or sheet piles, geotube containers do not require heavy equipment such as a crane or pile driver to install? The answer is true. The installation of geotube containers require only a suitable sand pump or dredge and commonly used equipment for deployment. Next question. If a contractor suggests conventional marine structures are superior to geotube containers, you should A. Offer them a cold cup of coffee B. Give them a wedgie C. Contact Tinkata to learn about the history and ongoing success of geotube containers D. All of the above The answer is D. All of the above Thanks for attending Tenkata Geotube 101. You're dismissed.